So traveling a lot, I've always wondered where, where is home? Is it where you grew up or is it where your family is? Or could it be, it could be anywhere. I call anywhere home when I'm traveling. I'll say, I'll call the hostel. I'll going, I'm going home. It doesn't matter where it is, anywhere can be home. But if I had to pick one place, it would be this. And this place is called Chisholm House. And I grew up here. I used to visit every summer and usually go for Christmas as well with my family. And it's just this beautiful place in uh, south of Edinburgh, um, in the middle of nowhere. But the only thing you can do is just go outside and explore. and. Just the countryside is phenomenal and just walking around in the woods in the middle of the night scaring your friends. And, <laughs> oh, I used to scare my friends so much. It was so much fun. <laughs> um, and uh, it's actually a school and they have these courses. And I did my first ever course there a couple years ago called Foundations of Natural Intelligence. And we lived in these yurts which were actually built um, here at Chisholm and we used to sit around the campfire and we had our own built stove as well that we cooked all our dinners in and everything was outside. We had no electricity, no phones, no internet, no nothing and we had these showers which we would get up early in the morning and light fires underneath the showers and having a shower and seeing like the hill with the sheep on it and the sun rising at six in the morning is just an incredible experience. Um, and every year they also have tree planting and I'm, it's happening in a couple of weeks and unfortunately I can't go, but um, it's a great time to just, for me to bring all my friends to Chisholm so that they're not terrified that we're dancing around the fire naked because it's a spiritual school and they actually find, actually it's pretty cool and we have cake all the time. And <laughs> it's absolutely great. <laughs> um, and there's, cons there's open days and workshops and there's just so much talent in carpentry and uh, dry stone walling and forestry and you can go there and learn so many skills and there's gardening and um, you can just, there's, you can really find out who you are. You can spend time with people and you have so much conversation with them all the time. And there's also meditation and there's studying. You study uh, poets like Rumi and Ibn Arabi and you study from the Fasus or you study from the Bible. It's like the best of everything. But as well, you're learning new skills and you can go out and learn how to cook and, and the food there. I just can't even describe how good the food is. It's cooked with so much love and so much soul and passion. Like you can feel your soul is just completely nourished. And, and you're just completely glowing. You go there and you don't know how you can leave and go back to the real world, but you discover that this is the real world. And you're kind of like, oh no, like I have to go back and go be stuck in computers and mobile phones and not having this amazing conversation and time that I've been sharing with people. Um, and we used to have these big symposia and we would just be cooking and cooking all the time for like hundreds of people. And we would have speakers coming to talk about everything from quantum physics to um, dancing to anything you can think of. Um, and yeah, as you can see, just the food. <laughs> it's just amazing. <laughs> and like, if I, one day I can cook as well as that, then I will be a happy woman. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, the, a lot goes into the service of the place. And you're, you learn to really just give and you're sharing. And you really learn, like what frustrates me with students a lot is that people just eat food because you have to and they don't care what it tastes like they'll just eat pasta every day and it drives me insane because just having something that tastes good is just so important and can really change your day and how you're feeling and your mood um we had this artist who was incredible and he, he did this fibonacci um spiral and we were all making it together it was incredible and this was um, the last night of one of the symposiums and I just felt so at peace and it was just 
unbelievable. We had just, we were lighting the lanterns, and there was an opera singer there as well who was just singing the most sublime music, and it was just, uh, yeah, I just love this place. Yeah. <laughs>